Numbers chapter 7 is the second longest chapter in the Bible. It contains 89 verses and second only to Psalm 119 in length. Why so long? Well, it's the dedication ceremony of the tabernacle. The ceremony was 12 days of festivities with a different tribe responsible for each day and its offerings. With the tabernacle complete, Moses could meet with God there in the middle of the camp instead of going up to the mountain. The symbolism and practicality is that God was right there in the center of the life of his people. He came to them, to the very heart of the encampment, to dwell in relationship with them. And God is always the initiator of relationship. He was with his people then, and he is with you and I today. He is faithful to continually invite us into his presence. Listen to these verses from the New Testament, God inviting us to come to him. Matthew 11:28 says, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Again in Matthew chapter 19, Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, for such is the kingdom of God. Then in John chapter 7, verse 37, On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirst, let him come to me and drink. What an amazing God we serve that he would consistently invite us to come closer, to be in fellowship, in real relationship with him. In considering this long chapter from the book of Numbers today, I hope it will cause you to remember that God actually wants to spend time with you. It did for me. We don't have to do anything to get God's attention. We just intentionally make time to meet with him right in the middle of whatever we're doing. God's been waiting and you've responded today. And listen, God is going to honor the time you've set aside to meet with him right now. You just wait and see.